Facts of Mars. And you may have heard that Antarctica even participated in the uh, so called Women's March, which really wasn't a Women's March, it was a Communist March, the Sandinistas. But uh, here's the reality of it I knew it was a bogus story because. Antarctica is uninhabitable. There's no arable land, there's nowhere you can live, there are no trees, so on and so forth. It's uninhabitable by humans, other than to some research stations that are kept supplied, and that type of thing. But, uh, at any rate, a bunch of liberals chartered, chartered, uh, Tour boat, that's why I call it a tour boat. They're calling it an expedition boat, but that's splitting hairs. At any rate, you can see their picture right here. These are a bunch of liberal nutcases. They went all the way down to Antarctica to get in some photo ops. Uh, these people love getting attention now, don't they? They didn't get any intention, they wouldn't do this kind of crap. And if you look sharp, in the upper right hand side of the crowd, you can see the old peace sign that's characteristic of the hippies of the 60s. Trump, this women's march is organized for protests and inauguration of Donald Trump. On um, Saturday, it officially reached all seven continents. A group of about 30 people from around the world on an expedition ship to in Antarctica organized a protest in solidarity with the Women's March on Washington and sister marches around the world, according to a post on Action Network. Holding signs that read Penguins for Peace and Love Rules in Antarctica, they marched in Paradise Bay as one of their landings. This is all for photo op purposes. Because these people wanted to be able to say they protested on all seven continents. <laughs> Which they did, but this continent itself is uninhabitable, folks. It's uninhabitable. It's, there's no arable land, nowhere to live. There's just a few research stations, however many I wouldn't know. California data analytics and market researcher Linda Zunis, an obvious nutcase, 42, told the Independent she put together the march, which included men and women that ranged from an age from 24 to 87 because of Trump's skeptical stand on environmental issues. I set up because I wanted to participate in the Women's March, Zunis explained. Explained, I spent a month after the election mourning the impending damage to the earth that will be done. I felt like I needed to do something to be part of the global warming. There's uh, one of the nutcases with the Penguins for Peace sign. These are standard leftist pinko commie liberals. Commie liberals, basically. And love rules in Antarctica. Right. I want to see you jerks try to uh, live there for a few days when the sun goes down. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't freeze. <sighs> Penguins march for peace. Uh, this is really off the wall. I can't believe how irrational this is getting. Zoom said the actual marching will be short as we have to limit our footprint on land. Translation to that is, you're freezing your asses off and you, uh, 
wanted to get back inside where it was warm, which I can't blame him, but, uh, that's what is the actual thing. She also shared on Twitter that protest was pro-peace, pro-environment, and non-political. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar, liar, liar. About 500,000 people were expected to participate in the Women's March on Washington, D.C. 750,000 marched, communists marched in L.A. from what I read. The crowd appeared to be much larger than the crowd that gathered for Trump's inauguration the day before. According to the New York Times, crowd scientists estimated the March in Washington had three times as many people as Trump's inauguration. That's okay, he's still president, so I don't care. Well, there you have it. These people are getting nuttier and nuttier by the minute. It's, it's actually pretty entertaining to watch them. I mean... What are we doing? Are we opening up all the loony bins and letting these people out? I mean... They gotta be coming from somewhere. I don't see how any of these people can possibly function in society. <laughs> um, maybe we are letting them out of loony bins. I don't know. But it, this is getting... It's amusing, at least. <laughs> I wonder what the penguins... <laughs> the penguins are probably thinking... These humans are nuts. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.